In this video, I will show you how to set up your Garmin Vivo Active 5 and also connect it to your phone. To turn on your Garmin, simply click and hold this upper button for 2 or 3 seconds and then release. Wait a moment. Okay, should start up now. Okay, some welcome screens. Let it load and click on it. And before we start setting up uh, settings on watch, we are going to need to download the app. The app is called Go Garmin Connect. Either go to your Play Store or Apple Store and find this Garmin Connect and click install. Also, there is one more app we need to download and that's called Connect IQ Store, Garmin Connect IQ Store. Make sure you also download this app as we can download additional watch faces and more apps we, that we can load on your watch from this. Once the app is installed on your phone, we are going to need to make sure that our Bluetooth is enabled. Otherwise, if you don't enable it, the watch won't be able to connect your phone and complete the setup. So before we open the app, go back to your watch and select your language. Then click pair with phone, this green button. Okay, set it aside again and open the app now. Okay, and we're going to need to create an account or sign in if you already got one. Click on that, agree to the terms. Fill in your name, email, password, country and click this. I'm at least 16 years old. Then click next. Okay. Let it load. Okay, we are going to need to allow all the permissions. We need to basically allow all the permissions. And as you open the app and allow the permissions, it will automatically find your Vivoactive 5. If you don't, if it doesn't find you and it doesn't say that it's ready to connect, again, close this app and make sure again that your Bluetooth is enabled. Then open the app again and uh, try to connect it again. If it doesn't automatically connect it, we are going to need uh, to select a device manually. It will show a list of uh, devices available and you need to basically search for Vivoactive 5 and you can after that scan with the QR code that you previously saw on this screen that showed and that's how you connect it if the app doesn't find your phone automatically. However, if you follow the steps in the same order that I explained, it will find you most likely. Okay, click connect it and click OK. Okay, it's, yep, click pair. And it asks for a pin code. Make sure it's the same one in case you are connecting two devices at the same time. It, yeah, <laughs> but click pair. So this might take some while. Okay. So it has successfully paired both of the devices. Click next. Then we can set your profile picture here you want to then uh, we can select who you want to share your activities with if you don't want random people seeing your step counts and your activities or profile click next and next enter your details enter your height if you want to switch to centimeters click let's close this and enter your details Select your weight. Okay, your date of birth. And also it's important that you actually set up these data correctly. Make sure you measure yourself and weigh yourself 
as all your data basically will be calculated based on this data that you provide. Your age as well is important. Okay, and also make sure to provide these typical bedtimes and wake up times. As at this time you set, your watch will go into a sleep mode and it will change the screen and it will start um, being watching out when you are actually fall trying to fall asleep and it will calculate your sleep scores and stuff like that. Make sure these are fairly accurate. Okay, select on which wrist you are going to wear it on. Okay, keep default and you need to enable all the notification access if you want to receive your emails, notifications from WhatsApp and stuff like that. Okay, calendar, yep. Okay, messaging. And yep, click agree. Okay, click sync. Okay, almost done. And it also show you some basics how to navigate it. Click next if you want to see. And if you are new to this Garmin, they are very useful. Okay, and lastly we need to set up our Wi-Fi. So if you don't set up your Wi-Fi, you won't be able to download music and other stuff on this watch but most stuff can be done over bluetooth you don't really need wi-fi that much anyway to set it up click add network and enter your details and click finish okay also uh, we can click not now if you want to select our garmin coach and set up garmin pay you can click get started and these are the individual things you can i guess set up if you want so if you want to add set up garmin pay click this however you can set these things up later as well so this is the app and on the first site there won't be much data displayed since you just connected these two devices together and it's a new account however as you start using the watch uh, it will populate with more data and more categories here there will be at least 10 times more stuff here so that's it for now so let's get to the watch if you want to learn the basics of the watch click this okay you can check, check them later and the watch should be all ready now so if you want to access all your apps and health features you can scroll from either uh, top to bottom or from bottom to top like this so you can scroll all the features and menus here if we scroll from top we can access these menus and features in reverse order if we click once this upper button, we can start an activity or switch to apps such as a wallet and stuff like that. If you want to go back to menus, click this lower button. So, and if you hold the upper button for two seconds, you can access some menus here, such as a way to shut off your phone or and stuff like that. Again, to go back this button so and if we press and hold this lower button we can uh, access settings here all the system settings so and also if we swipe from left to right we can access or quick access menu we can customize this menu as well in the settings if you want to change your watch face press and hold this lower button then click watch face and we can scroll through the watch faces on this watch. So if you want to select this watch face, 
click on it and it's applied. On some of these Garmin original watch face apps, you can also press and hold these icons and sometimes the screen is not that responsive honestly. However, yep, so it directly goes to the app in question. That's cool. If you want to edit the look of this watch face, again, go to your watch face settings and here is this tiny pencil thing. Click on that and we can adjust what date or color we want to show on that watch face. So let's change color and to apply, press this upper button. Okay, select the watch face and that's it. I think we are done. So if this video was helpful, make sure to hit the like button.